Well, hidey ho, my peeps. It is wish haul time. These are some of the things I've received from Wish in the past few weeks. Look at that clutch of fake jewelry. Um, yeah, so I wanted to share it with you. Here's my biggest snag. I think I spent maybe $11 for these 10 um, snap bracelet things. I had never seen these before. Of course, I don't get out much, so, you know. Trends come and go, but apparently these little bracelets um, have this hole here so that you can snap on all these different little buttons. So they have quite a few different styles of buttons. I, the buttons I got real cheap, I think they were $5 for 20 of them. And so this pretty much takes care of Christmas for the women in my family. So that was cool to get. Um, they also had some that were particularly blingy, like the ones in there. That I, I really like that one on the top. It's so old-fashioned looking. And so anyhow, I thought I thought that was a really, really neat thing for super cheap for Christmas for my family. Then I'm going to show you my clutch of fake rings. I am so into fake rings like right now, it's ridiculous. First, look at the one I'm wearing. Isn't that beautiful? All of those little uh, fake diamonds are set in settings. Um, they may be glued on as well, but they're all set. And that's like a, it's like a rose gold and a, you know, and a white gold with a pink stone. I absolutely love it. I think I might have spent $4 for it, including shipping just love it um this is an indication of the kind of thing you can get at wish uh for a re really reasonable price and it isn't cheap and tacky now let me show you cheap and tacky this little set right here um the jewels are just glued on um this looks for all the world like a cracker jack ring but I don't care. I think this set was free. Was free plus, I don't know, a buck or two shipping. And I, I got it because it's kind of dramatic looking. And, I mean, look, even that, even its little setting thing, prong things didn't get pushed down all the way. Anyway, I was dramatic and I kind of like the fiery, fire opal sort of color of it. So this is an indication of how you can get something kind of cheap as opposed to the one that I just showed you. Now, here's something that I just love. This is also one that's not cheap looking. Um, the, the little clear stones are glued on, but it's got so much dimension. I thought that was really, really a fun ring. It came with another little ring. It came with this right here. So it was a two, let's see. There you go, it was a two piece set, so. Then, let's see, in no particular order. Here's another one that is in just as fine quality as the one that I have on my hand. It's in pink and, you know, fake, fake diamond, and I just love it. I like this stuff that has this like real 1920s kind of kind of flavor to it see this one this one is actually missing something you see that's let's see that's sort of a bird on the top but it's missing pieces I don't care I mean it's I think I spent like two bucks on it three bucks on it including shipping and um, I love the color and you know it's cool I'll, I'll wear that for different things then um, here, this I thought was really pretty too, kind of unusual, very 1920s looking. I'm being influenced by Miss Fisher. I just love her jewelry in the show. This is a fake citrine. Um, the, that's just beaded. There's not um, any gems in there, but it looks real pretty, um, which is my birthstone. So I thought that would be fun. Then I got this thing, which is, again, it's not super well made, 
can kind of, I mean, it's, it's better than a lot of them, but it's not super well made. But it, it reminded me of my mother and it also reminded me of the 1920s. So that'll be fun to wear. And I think this was like, I think this was like $2, including shipping. Um, here's another real pretty 1920s looking. Um, again, those little emerald looking things around the edge are just glued in. But I liked it. I thought it was real pretty. And, and it, if you look on the inside, you can see it, that it's pretty well made. So that was fun. And oh, you guys, some of you might have seen this. Those of you who watch my um, Gypsy Myrmicorn, I wore this to do a couple of readings last week. I just loved it. It looked so Gypsy Myrmicorn-ish. I thought it was perfect. This one is another 1920s looking ring. Really cool. And here's the most interesting one of all. This is a fake um, aquamarine, but I want you to notice something. Do you see there are inclusions inside that aquamarine? It looks like little breaks and little bubbles and stuff. So you can really see them like that. I have never seen a fake ring made with intentional inclusions. And I'm actually wondering if this is a real gemstone. Of course they tell you that it's real, but you don't believe that when you buy stuff from Wish. But I'm gonna take this to a jewelry store and find out if that, is that just very cleverly, is that just very clever glass designed to make you think it's real? Or are those inclusions in an actual real gemstone? I should ask my son. He might know. So anyhow, um, yeah, I just got the hugest kick out of all this junky jewelry. And I've got a lot more that I've bought. I'm just showing you what I could lay my hands on today. But again, this is my favorite. And I think it's absolutely beautiful for, you know, $5. I also got these earrings, which I've been dying to get. But you can see that one stone is, um, uh, looks like it's, longer or it's set further up than the other i don't know i might be able to fix that but i thought they were neat because they were this lovely opalescent kind of color um <clears throat> jewelry making supplies i got these marvelous beads here and this wonderful kind of bluish greenish gold color i thought that was really pretty in addition for jewelry supplies i got some bead caps in this sort of verdigris color I got, let's see, one, two bags of those, and then I got two bags of these uh, these round beads in the gold and verdigris, brass and verdigris color. So that'll be fun to make jewelry with. Then I got some very cool little um, charms. These are little brooms, and I thought those were adorable. I wanna do something around Halloween that has these little brooms um, uh, on it. I also got these little moons and stars. Some of you know that this moon and star symbol is sort of my personal symbol. I've been drawing it on things ever since I was 11 years old. And uh, when I saw this, I thought, well, that's cool. That's my symbol. I think I'm going to get some of those. Again, these were, this was all real cheap. It was either free plus shipping or a buck plus shipping, so cheap. Um, I also got some of these manta rays. I thought those were neat. And some of these shells with a starfish on top of a, uh, top of a, what do you call those? Scallop shell, I thought those were pretty. Then I got a hair pick. I thought that was beautiful. I thought those green, greenish blue, it looks green here, but it's really a bluish green. And the pearl looked so mermaidy. And, okay, here's, here's the one that I'm, I'm really loving, just loving this little collection of charms in here because these are caps. Let's see if I can figure out how to open it. Here we go. 
these okay you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna set you guys down for just a second so you can look at my pretty little key fob there while I open this up and dump it on my on my table because I want to show you guys some of these little cat charms they're so adorable okay here we go coming back at me all right now I thought these just in general were adorable look at the different styles they're so cute just as cute as they can be now let me tell you what my plan is for these for these little cat charms um, a lot of you guys know that one of my pet charities is my ex-husband's cat house um, and I'm going to do videos there. I want to show you guys what the place looks like because it is not a house set up for a human. It, he set the entire thing up for cats, the whole thing. And um, I love my cat. How sweet. And so what I thought I would do is when I start doing um, live hangouts on my Gypsy Myrmicorn channel, or maybe before, um, and start taking donations for doing readings. I'm for anyone who donates 20 bucks, they're going to get a bracelet, and the bra each, the bracelets will all have um, a cat charm. So that's going to be the incentive, you know, for anybody who wants to, you know, to like sub sub substantively um, make a donation to the cat house. But we're not ready to do this yet. I want to make sure that I get the videos done so everyone can see what they're donating to. And, um, and you know, I need to put that in place. But I just thought this would be a really nice incentive gift for anyone who makes a substantial donation. So anyhow, that is pretty much the sum total of what I got at Wish. Oh, no, there's a couple more things I want to show you. Um, this is just a little kid headband for a little baby. Um, Grant and I went to a gender reveal party, the first one we've ever been to, and um, this is, and it was a, it's a girl, so I thought this would be darling for, you know, when they do the newborn pictures, that'll give her an option for a headband. And then I got something else, I'm not really sure why I got it, I spent $14 on it, which was, you know, probably way too much since I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just couldn't resist because I thought it was beautiful. It's a shirt. Um, like a blouse thing and it just pulls over a person's head whoever's gonna wear this still I'm gonna unfold it here and obviously I mean it's totally see-through so obviously you'd be wearing it with you know a, I don't know a tank or, or something like that underneath it it's just this loose shirt blouse thingy but it's made out of this marvelous net like tool material that's been embroidered with these marvelous flowers all over it and I thought dang that is so pretty somewhere I'm gonna find somebody who wears a size large maybe maybe as a Christmas gift to someone in my family I don't know who would kind of dig this shirt it would look so pretty over jeans you know with a tank top underneath it or whatever so anyway i just thought it was super cool and um i bought it on a whim so there you go that's what i've been doing via wish and i've, I've really been getting lucky because i you know none of this stuff with the exception of that one super cheap little ring this is all you know perfectly good quality stuff i mean it's you know you go to a I don't know, a boutique or something in your town and you're looking at fake jewelry and you would expect to spend, I don't know, anywhere from $19 to $39 well, for, for something like that. You'd probably expect to spend $39 to $59 for something that looked like that. Or at least see that as their retail prices and then if it's a smart store owner, they'll mark it up to $59 then mark it down 50%. Anyway, um, yeah, these, I think, for a couple bucks each, um, these were a really fun way to add stuff to my um, 
my junk jewelry collection that I'm actually going to use. So, thank you so much for following along with me on this little this little wish haul, and I will see you guys later. Bye!